Well, folks, I did not have a show on Monday. There's a very good reason I didn't have a show on Monday. I was watching a miracle happen on Sunday. Over the weekend, my wife gave birth to our fourth child. Beautiful baby boy. He's a real squishy. My, my wife is an amazing human being and an amazing wife, an amazing woman. Thanks to God for her. Thanks to God for the baby. You know, it's always, it's always so dramatic. I mean, giving birth is like an amazing... So I, I've seen my wife do it four times now. And every time, you're never, you never cease to be astonished by the miracle of watching this thing happen. And it raises so many thoughts in your head. Number one, the absolute power and magic of being a woman to, to, to give birth is just like, it's, it's an amazing, amazing thing. It's a magical thing. It's a superpower. A woman is able to grow in her body another human being, nurture that human being for nine months. And then she has to somehow push that human being out. And then she can begin to nourish that, that new human being with her own body. It's, it's an amazing, unbelievable thing to watch. It's a miracle in real time. It's always deeply moving. Anybody who's not religious, watch a childbirth. And I, I challenge you to, to question whether miracles exist because it's, it's every single time, it's, it's just a miracle. The fact that women do it repeatedly is a miracle in and of itself. And my wife's done it four times. And the amount of you know, pain and suffering that it takes to actually do that, and then you go back and do it again, because this is an important thing. You put your own body on the line to bring another human being into the world. I mean, it's just the most giving, unbelievable thing in the entire world. It also leads to political thoughts like anybody who believes that two minutes before this baby exited my wife, this baby was not a baby, is out of their mind. You have to be a complete nutcase to actually believe that in the ninth month of pregnancy or the eighth month or the seventh month of pregnancy or the sixth month of pregnancy, that what is inside the womb is not a human being. And you have to be totally crazy because you can see the baby come out and when the baby comes out, it is materially no different than when it was inside. And yet there are really people in this world who believe that it was not a baby when it was in, the woman has a right to choose even at that moment, which is just utter craziness. It's utter, absolute insanity and craziness. But the amount of gratitude that I have for the Almighty for giving us a healthy child and the amount of gratitude I have for the medical staff for helping to, to make all of this happen, modern medicine is an incredible, incredible thing. And the amount of gratitude I have for my astonishing wife, who's astonishing in every single way. She not only has the babies, but then takes care of the babies. And then, of course, she's a doctor on the side and, and somebody who really has her priorities straight, somebody who knows what her priorities are in life and really takes care of our children. Uh, it's, it's an astonishing, astonishing thing. I could not be happier or more grateful uh, for baby number four repopulating the earth uh, with baby Shapiro's. And of course, he is a very squishy baby. He is a very squishy baby indeed. Okay, time for a couple of things that I hate. So, thing number one that I hate. Remember last week I told you that the Dodgers had uh, been pressured and had finally caved to common sense, at least in a minor way. They continued to do their pride night, the LA Dodgers. But then they decided that uh, they were going to uninvite the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, which is a wild, radical, insane, anti-religious group. They dress up like nuns and then promote promiscuity and, uh, and indecent behavior. And it turns out that that offends a lot of people, particularly in Los Angeles, which has a heavily Catholic fan base. And so the Dodgers backed off it. Well, now they've backed off the back off. They put out another statement. They said, after much thoughtful feedback from our diverse communities, honest conversations within the LA Dodgers organization and generous discussions with the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, the LA Dodgers would like to offer our sincerest apologies to the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, members of the LGBTQ plus minus divided by sign community and their friends and families. We've asked the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence to take their place on the field at our 10th annual LGBTQ plus minus divided by sign Pride Night, June 16th. We are pleased to share that they have agreed to receive the gratitude of our collective communities for the life-saving work they have done tirelessly for decades. Oh, so much life-saving work. The life-saving of mocking Catholics and promoting sexually deviant behavior, like truly astonishing work there. In the weeks ahead, we'll continue the work with our LGBTQ plus minus divided by sign partners to better educate ourselves, find ways to strengthen the ties that bind and use our platform to support all our fans who make up the diversity of the Dodgers family. Oh, so nice, so wonderful. So indecent. But yeah, I guess now you have to take sides in the culture war. Taylor Swift silence is definitely, you can't just be a baseball team that does baseball things. Now you must speak out on behalf of the left. And if you do not speak out on behalf of the left, then you will be held to account. That is the only reason why the Dodgers do this. Well, there has to be a countervailing pressure from the right on teams like the Dodgers. And if you are a 
Catholic, you shouldn't be going to this game. You shouldn't be going to any of the games. In fact, you should be telling the Dodgers precisely what you think of them. I want to talk to you about Daily Wire's most trusted privacy partner and premier sponsor of this show, ExpressVPN. Using the internet without ExpressVPN, it's like checking your baggage at the airport without a lock. You think your stuff is safe, but you never know who might be going through your belongings. When you go online without ExpressVPN, ISPs can see every single website you visit. They can then legally sell that information without your consent to ad companies and tech giants who then use that data to target you. When you use ExpressVPN, internet service providers can't see your online activity at all. Your identity is completely anonymized. Your data is also encrypted for maximum protection. I love ExpressVPN because it's really easy for non-tech savvy people like me to use. You fire up the app, you click one button, and now you're magically protected. ExpressVPN works on all my devices, phones, laptops, even routers, so everyone who shares my Wi-Fi is protected as well. Secure your data with the VPN I trust by visiting expressvpn.com slash ben today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash ben. My listeners will get an extra three months for free. Again, that's expressvpn.com slash ben. Do not allow yourself to be put in a dire position by hackers. Don't allow ISPs to control the data that you are putting out there. Don't allow the government to watch what you're doing. Go check out ExpressVPN right now, expressvpn.com slash Ben. And again, my listeners get an extra three months for free. Remember the last time you got one of those quote unquote free phones? You started out feeling great. Then came the hefty activation fees, four line requirements, and of course, the binding contract. Pure Talk is giving you a free 5G Samsung Galaxy phone without the feeling that you've been duped. When you switch to Pure Talk's unlimited talk and text data plan that comes with the mobile hotspot, you'll get a 5G Samsung Galaxy for free. That's correct, unlimited everything at a fraction of the price of Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile. Plus, you'll be on America's most dependable 5G network. How do I know? Well, because I myself have been using Pure Talk for a while here. Make the switch to Pure Talk the way that I did. They're the cell phone wireless company I'm proud to stand behind because they're proud to stand behind our mission here at Daily Wire. Pure Talk's U.S.-based customer service team helped me make the switch. In as little as 10 minutes, I was even able to keep my phone number. Head on over to puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Get your free Samsung Galaxy when you sign up for unlimited talk, text, and unlimited data. That is puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Pure Talk is wireless for Americans by Americans. I made the switch over. I do all of my business calls from Pure Talk. You can do the same. Again, go to puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Get your free Samsung Galaxy when you sign up for unlimited talk, text, and unlimited data. Data, they're a company that doesn't hate your guts, and they will give you the service you need. Pure Talk, wireless for Americans, by Americans. Go check them out right now. Politico, which has just become essentially a talking points outlet for the Democratic Party as well, put out an article targeting Casey DeSantis. Now, let me, I've met Casey uh, several times. She's one of the most charming people on earth. Casey is a delight. Okay, Ron's wife is just a wonderful person. And this entire article is about how terrible she is. They literally compare her to Lady Macbeth in this article. Who do they quote to suggest that Casey DeSantis is, in fact, Lady Macbeth? They quote David Jolly, an ex-GOP Florida congressperson who's now an MSNBC analyst. They quote a bunch of anonymous Republican lobbyists. They quote Roger Stone, who is a Trump devotee and a rat effer extraordinaire. That's literally his job. He, he's going to compare her to Lady Macbeth. Quote, Stone's hyperbolic charge is part of a broader effort on the part of Trump to kill in the crib the candidacy they consider their greatest threat. They recently have scored a series of key, albeit early strategic wins, a flurry of in-state endorsements, for instance, contributing to the perception of a novice faltering to Sance that's also visible in a slide in early primary polls. In the tragic drama, of course, Lady Macbeth prods her husband to kill the king so she can be the queen. At this juncture, the literary analogy only goes so far. And then that, that's because DeSantis isn't going so far after, uh, after Trump, really. They then quote a bunch of former DeSantis administration staffers, quote, she sees ghosts in every corner. She's more paranoid than he is, said a second staffer. He's a vindictive, he's a vindictive mother effer. She's twice that, said a higher up on one of his campaigns. She's the scorekeeper. Does she sort of humanize the robot? Does she push him on the grip and grin, baby kissing, give him a cleaner, softer image? Yes, said another former gubernatorial staffer. Does she also feed into his worst instincts of being secluded and insular and standoffish with staff? Yes. So, um... The idea here is that she's bad because he trusts her a lot and uses her as a political advisor. Obviously, that's terrible. Now, there's only one problem with this theory, which is um, that, again, Casey is rather delightful. As a cancer surviving mother of several children, uh, she also happens to be a pretty good political advisor to a guy who just won the state of Florida by 20 points. So it is obvious that this is effectively a two-person race. The entire media are allied not against Trump, but against DeSantis in the primaries. Trump has joined them, which is why he's attacking DeSantis from the left. And you're going to see a series of ridiculous hits on DeSantis, despite the fact that Trump, the person that is supposedly the most dangerous person in the race uh, and, and the person, most dangerous person in America, is running. The media, are they, they know exactly who they want to be the nominee pretty clearly at this point. All right, guys, the rest of the show continues right now. You're not going to want to miss it. 
We'll be getting into the Vaunted Ben Shapiro Show mailbag. If you're not a member, become a member. Use code Shapiro at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Click that link in the description and join us.